Hey, hey, boring masters and masterettes. It's Vaughn. How's it going? Give me a little like or share. Let me know where you're from. If you've been loving the content we've been putting out, let us know. I'm just uh, wrapping up a massive day of dancing in the studio. Oh, we're so blessed to have so many cool people in our studio. And hopefully one day I get the, uh, the pleasure of having a dance with you or meeting you. Uh, but yeah, leave us a comment. Let us know where you're from, what sort of dancing you love to do. I uh, want to share a little idea with you today. I love my ideas, as you know, and I am very much about the mindset and the heart of performance, as well as, if, of course, having good technique and good mechanics. But I've seen so many people really lose out on, I suppose, their true ability and best self as a dancer, right? Like, and what do I mean by this? Well, they're so concerned with the judgment, right? The judgment of other people, the opinions of other people about their own dancing. And of course, this like, this is just life, right? It happens all the time, but it's so exposing in dancing. I think that, you know, most people are afraid of public speaking. I reckon ballroom dancing, Latin dancing, performing in front of other people is way scarier than, you know, public speaking, because most people are scared of speaking, right? The, the saying goes, and the research actually proves that of the top five fears that public speaking uh, is above death. That means people would rather be uh, giving the, being in the casket than giving the eulogy. I think dancing runs a parallel with that in a way that most people are scared to be truly authentically themselves or give themselves permission to dance at their highest capacity every single time they dance because they're worried about the opinions or the ridicule or the judgments of other people. You know, it could be a coach who's well-meaning, right? Like, so I'm not talking about a shit coach or a negative coach who's like, whole job is to make you feel bad, right? I don't think they're good coaches, to be honest. I'm talking about like the opinions of other people. Like, will that person laugh at me? Will they ridicule me? And I think the fear of ridicule, the fear of judgment is the biggest thing that holds people back above other fears, right? I th and you probably might relate to this. Like, let me know what you think. Like, what's something that holds you back? But I think the fear of ridicule, the fear of judgment, the fear of what other people think about your dancing is going to cripple your progress and cripple your improvement and cripple your true, I would say, inner dancer more than anything else. And yes, I think we need to have constructive criticism and we should have critiquing on our dancing for sure, right? Because we'll never bring out our best self that way if we, if we just, everything's fine, a little pat on the head for average performance, right? Little, little high five for shit dancing, right? No, we don't want that. But what I'm saying is that every time you step onto the floor to dance, every time you go out there to give it your all, you give it your all. Like I always say to my students, it's way better to be judged at your like highest attempt, at your absolute best go, um, and at least be fixed there, like meet there for the criticism, meet there for the, crit uh, the critiquing, because it's because at least you're then going to improve and make your ceiling your new floor. Because if you don't do that, you're being judged down here because everyone's going to judge you. Like you can't escape that. You're going to get judged. People's opinions are going to come at you, right? People are going to give the two cents and that's, pro <laughs> that's about all it's worth sometimes. But at least, at least if you're up at the top, that's where you can improve. When you're down in the bottom area and you're holding back 10%, you're holding back 20%, you're holding back just a little bit, you're now disservicing your future self. Because you're not going to improve because it's like, oh, yeah, I know I could do better in this movement. I know I could pull myself out more here. I know I could use better footwork. I know I could do better in that movement. But, you know, I, I just didn't give it my all. Well, that sort of excuse is going to lead to nowhere real quick, right? You stay stuck when you have that attitude. So my question to you is this. What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail at your dancing? What does that mean? Well, yeah, it doesn't mean you might win every, you won't win, you will win every comp. It's not about not getting honors in an exam. It's not about that. What it means is personally to you. You see, let's look at what your philosophy of failure is. How do you look at failure? Because in my head, you fail as a way to win. It's like the right and passage of how people improve in their ballroom and Latin dancing. Because all champions, They've all lost more than they've won. Every champion that I've interviewed and I've met, they all lost more than they won. What does that mean? Well, very simple. They are remembered for the winning, 
but they failed and lost more on the way up to the throne than anyone else was willing to play the game. Sometimes you just have to be willing to play the game and stay in longer than anyone else. I think you've got to look at philosophy as, a, as, a way, as nature's way of teaching you. Like, if you're not good at balance, well, that's nature's way of teaching you. You've got to be good at balance. If you keep losing your timing, you've got to, that is nature's way of telling you you've got to get better at timing. But you've got to understand that the fact that that's your inadequacy is no predisposition to your future potential and your future ability and your future dance self that can come to pass, right? But it will hold you in place if you don't have the right philosophy of how you're going to fail going forward, right? How are you going to look at yourself? Now, above all, I think the biggest fear besides the fear, well, not the biggest fear, the biggest fear of ridicule and criticism and, and opinions of others is absolutely going to hold you in place if you let it. But beyond that is the self-talk. Like, how do you represent the world? How do you see the world? If Are you constantly going on the floor and you're on the floor and you see the audience as people who don't like you, like they don't respect you, you fear the judge's opinion, like it's, it's just holy crap, every time I go on that floor, I feel like people are instantly judging me, but negatively, because they are judging you. But how are they judging you? Well, that's actually up to your internal representation. All that means is that the lens that you look at through your life is exactly what you're going to perceive the world as. So if you see the audience as not your friend, if you see the audience as people who are against you, if you see the judges as people who hate you and they think you're ugly and like your dancing stinks, guess what? That's exactly what you're going to think. That's what you feel. That's what you're going to act like. You're going to act in accordance with that. So it matters how you start to see not only uh, the way that you dance, but how other people are looking at you when you dance. Now, I am of the belief most people just aren't thinking, right? Like they're just, look, they're on their phone. Let's take a competition. They're on their phone most of the time. People in the audience are like, they'll look at you for like a second and go, nice. And then they'll go back to their misery, right? They'll go back to their life. They're not really thinking about you. You know, like you might work your ass off for years and someone comes up to you and says, nice dancing. And you're like, thanks. Right? So, so, Whose opinion really matters, right? At the end of the day, what are you looking for? Are you looking for like the people outside of yourself to give you all the validation? No, you've got to give it to yourself, man. Like it's not going to come from external sources. So here's the thing that you should take away from today. And uh, I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you've struggled with. Let me know where you stand when it comes to your self-talk, your philosophy on failing, your philosophy on winning. Let me know what you would do if you knew you could never fail at your dancing. What would you go for? Where would you aspire? Like, what would be the thing you challenge yourself to do? You know, would you go and perform in a play? Would you go into a musical? Would you go for an advertisement that required dancers? Would you put on an event, right, yourself? Would you go and do pro-am? Would you step on the comp floor? Would you, you challenge yourself to finish medals? Holy crap, so many people don't even finish medals, man. If you start it, finish it, right? So here's the thing. My message for you today is one of hope. You are the only opinion that's going to matter above anyone else at the end of the day. Are you going to be happy with the results that you are going for in your dancing if you allow the opinions of other people to keep you in place? Not that certain people's opinions aren't valid, but at the end of the day, yours matters above anyone else's because you're the one that benefits, right? Like if you don't like how you look, how you feel, how you, how you are when you present, that is going to hold you in place. It's going to hold you back. It's not going to bring out the, the little inner dancer for the world to see, right? So look, if you're feeling this message, share it with some of the dancers, tag them in it, let them know, right? I want to thank you for tuning in with me today as we go on this little rant. And uh, I want to also let you know really quickly, we have something very, very, very exciting coming up for you. I'm going to bring you, if you just write the word boom in the message below, if you're still watching this, write it now because then I can tag you when we've got a very special offer coming up in June for um, some brand new content that no one's seen. It's going to help you specifically. I need and want to work with you virtually uh, in forums like this. I want to help you become that best dancer you possibly can be. I can't wait to share what we've got coming up, but I, I need to know who you is, who you are. Put a little boom in the comment below. But above all, go out there and crush it. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about the haters. Only focus on those who are your believers like me and your coaches and your support team. Outside of that, who gives a flying fuck? Go out there and dance your heart out. 
This is Vaughn. I want to thank you. Awesome for having you here. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you up on the flip side. Bye-bye.